From the first time I see you, we are one thing I am telling Turn the lights on, are you ready now? Pretty cute face in my place, I'm not send you home Holy pa girl, but I think about you all one girl I tell you Shit nice and clear. Wild Cherry Pepsi Friday. The only man keep it consistent with you, man. They tell me all the time, Joe, you tripping, man. Enjoy your life, man. Enjoy your vacation. I say I have an obligation to the people. I gotta talk that shit. Happy birthday to some wheat tea. Uh, we T from the Bay Area. Happy birthday to Missy, Miss Demina, Elliot. Happy born day to Moni Love. The women are very powerful today. Diddy Barber, what's up, mama? One of my favorite women on the planet Earth. I love you. And so, you know, I'm in paradise. You know I'm living the life. Wild Cherry Pepsi Fridays. So I told you, I spoke to Keith Sweat today. I said, Keith, wait, but, but this is how the phone rang. And when I picked up, all I heard is, I'm the light skin Keith Sweat. I'm the light skin Keith Sweat. I'm the light skin Keith Sweat. I'm the light skin Keith. He was so hyped. He was saying, I'm the light skin, Key Sweat. I'm the light skin. Because you know, in that versus, he threw that little interlude in there with Drake saying, I'm the light skin, Key Sweat. I'm the, it's always good to get an honorable mention from an artist at the time who's on fire. It's always a beautiful thing. And so I know what he mean. You know, I got my first shout out was from Dodd's Effects. Is that, uh, that, in case you didn't know, in case you didn't know, the flow's fat like Joe, like Joe. And then, you know, I might have got like tons of mentions and I love them all. I love them all. So I know how he felt when he was playing the little step on stage, girl scream like I'm Keith. Step on stage, girl scream. And so he said, Joe, I got a brand to protect. He said, I love Bobby. Bobby's my guy. I said, yes, I love Bobby too. He said, but I have a brand to protect. He said, I had to get on my keep sweat shit. Shout out to my moms. I love you, mommy. Oh, uh, he said, yo, man, I got to protect the keep sweat brand. And so I said, you're right. You're right. And so... I'm gonna tell you about something. I'm gonna tell you about something, right? And so, if we know people don't want us to compete in the Olympics, if we know they say you can't protest no Black Lives Matter, if we know they don't want you to wear the swimming caps, if we know We can't have them find weed in our system at the Olympics. Now, I can smoke weed all I want, although I don't. But I don't have a problem with anybody smoking weed. But if you're going to the Olympics representing America, don't help them jam you up. And... We already know the atmosphere. We already know they don't want to compete. They don't want to go against you. So why would we give them a lane? And so now we go into, I see everybody, you know, this is the craziest shit about, you know, our community is that we act like we don't know no better. And I tell you, I come from nothing, poverty, whatever you want. I'm, I'm, I'm more ignorant than anybody out there. I'm pettier than anybody. But something like this happened. Then we start, oh, you know, they got to this and this. Bro, we can't let 
ourselves get caught in that position. That is all I'm saying. We can't have the weed in our system. No matter who to give it. We know weed slows you up. It don't make you fat. We know that whatever the case may be, but we cannot get caught with this in our system. If we want to be Olympic champions, the thing with the Olympics, it don't come around for another four years. Yeah, that's cool, but they don't hate the black magic if you have the weed in you. That's all I'm trying to say. And then sometimes well, some one of our people, I get it. Somebody gets in trouble, we got to stand for them and we got to represent them. And we love the sister and we want her to win every award. You know, but then we start being delusional ourselves with the shit that, you know, Bill Cosby came home from jail. He's supposed to come home from jail because he made a deal 10 years prior where, where he testified in a civil court case. And they said, if you testify, we can never bring you in criminally. They went, be, they went back on them words and they still used his words against him 10 years later and they put him in jail. Supreme Court found that that was a technicality. That they gave him immunity, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be able to use that against him. That's the law. Let's stand by the law. We're gonna stand by the law. But let's just say the truth. It was a flaw. It was a glitch, a technical thing. And so when I see everybody out here showing the pudding pops and this and this and that, you know. Bill Cosby did some things. Okay, so I can't, if there's certain rules, I can't, I can't fuck with me. Yeah, there's women out there for a fact falsely accusing entertainers, athletes, celebrities. The ugliest shit in the world you could be accused of is rape. It's the ugliest shit you could ever be accused of, and I wish it on no one. Has not just some, many women use that to get money from athletes and celebrity? Yes. I actually, every time somebody's accused, I go more with the person who's being accused, being believed, rather than the other person. I'm not going to lie to you because I know how it is out here. Everybody trying to come up. A girl sleep with a guy one time. She thinks she never seeing him again in her life. This dude got millions. Fuck that. I'm going to say I got raped so I can get some money. Yes, it happens. All day, every day. If you can't tolerate the shit I'm saying, then get the fuck out of here. If y'all want that joke for the truth, then you listen to what I'm saying because I know. There's many a woman, just like this woman, sleep with a guy one time, all of a sudden by mistake, he got her pregnant. Yo, that's your baby, dog. You know, child support for 18. We know this shit is real. Why you always want to lie to each other and act like this shit ain't real? This shit is real. The problem I have is that when you get 50 young ladies, White, black, Chinese, Spanish, Filipino, rich, poor, to all, they don't know each other and they all say the same story? That's where you get me fucked up at. That's where you get me like, and so I can't be cheering on Yo, and I'm always, <laughs> I'm always for the underdog. I don't want to say the bad guy, but nine times out of ten, I'm for the bad guy. You talk about a guy who came from bad people. So I'm always cheering on somebody, but I can't be up in here lying to y'all like, I don't, I never wish that on him. I don't want him to go to jail. I didn't want none of that to happen to him. But Bill did something to them 50 girls. Maybe 20 are lying. There's 30 that... Ain't lying. But you people want to keep lying. 
I don't know what it is. Is it like, all right, black and Spanish, whenever that something, anything goes wrong, even though we know these guys are foul as shit, we're going to still be like power to the people? What I'm telling you is, right, if I'm in the house right now and I touch a red phone and I touch a white flower and I smack somebody, beat somebody up, that happened. You could believe Fat Joe's a good guy. He's not like that no more, right? But if you hear 50 guys in 50 different locations in L.A., Puerto Rico, Spain, Yugoslavia, say this guy touched the red phone, touched the white flower, and beat the shit out of somebody, you might start to believe maybe this guy is, did some shit. Okay, I'm not going to say... Look, y'all make up your mind. Y'all want to be fake. Y'all want to do whatever, this, this, that. Hopefully, when you get in trouble, people know how to be fake and support you. That's all I'm saying. You know, I had a friend, right? A real friend, a friend I love, right? And the best thing I could do is not talk shit about the brother while I'm here with you. And you know... That I've been on here with you for a year and five months and I've never talked bad about my brother, right? And the first time he got in trouble, I stood with him. I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't let nobody tell me I believe it. Nobody I argue with everybody. Fuck that, right? And so second time, and I'm seeing all this and this and that. And it's the nature. So somebody calls me up. No, he is not coming home. Somebody calls me up and says, hey, I'm a lawyer. I represent this guy. This guy says he's your friend. I said, yeah, he's my friend. I'm hurt. Because... Part of my job, when I was in the streets and I was hustling, maybe this is a joke for a moment, I done told y'all so much shit, right? But part of my job was to bail people out of jail. Now, I don't know if you understand that. My job description was to bail people out of jail. That was one of them. So like if somebody, even if he was a crackhead, if he was a pitcher, if he was this, a lookout, if he was this, he got locked up. I show up to 161, cash, the, 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 with the, get a lawyer for them. Boy, how much is the bell? Thousand dollars. Back in the day, you paid cash. You don't put no name on it. You keep it walking. Everybody walks out of jail. That's all I've been doing my whole life is bailing people out of jail. I never like to see no one go to jail. I personally think unless... This guy's an insane mass murderer, or he's raping little kids or raping women. Jail's inhumane. You might look at me like I'm crazy. I don't want nobody to go to jail. But when I turn around and you're accused of raping little girls or raping girls. I cannot co-sign that. I cannot. So a lawyer called me and said, hey, such and such says he's your brother. I, my whole demeanor changes. I'm in the car in Miami. I'm like, hey, such and such said that? Said, yeah, I'm his lawyer. And he said you his brother. He said you would send some money to pay for the lawyer. So I tell a lady, and it hurt my heart. I couldn't even sleep that night. I said, miss, I wish he had killed 20 people. I wish he had murdered people or something, anything, so I could anonymously send you a quarter of a million dollars. 
I really love this brother. But I cannot co-sign raping little girls and shit like that. So, I cannot. You cannot involve me. You cannot involve me. I can't co-sign that. And that shit you can't do. I'm not doing it. Rape. Uh, this It's sad though because I know a lot of people are falsely accused. But when you get 30, 40 girls saying the same shit. Bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I do not know what to tell you. Somebody says, what? Well, real talk. Everyone means they can. Uh. Look, E-Bags. I talk to the rich people, poor people, everybody. I'm on here every day. Who's your favorite rapper, E-Bags? Because um, I don't see them on here talking to you right now. We talk about real shit here, man. And so... I can't do it. And so y'all can go and keep doing y'all fake shit if y'all want. It's rules. It's rules. It's rules to the game. And so, um, and those are my rules. Those are my things. Now, somebody out of anybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody gets accused who I know and I trust. Or some shit, random accused. I listen to the to the story, the evidence. I might stand behind this man. I might stand behind him because I know brothers who's been set up by girls saying they raped them when they never raped them. And these guys facing jail time. They getting sued. They just so I know this shit. A lot of this shit, most of it is fake. They want to come up. Can't you understand that shit? You think, I don't want to say names. You think Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, had to? Nah, fuck nah, I never thought that was true. But the man had to go to court, had to dis... So, you, so let's just take, right? You're a guy, you're worth $50 million, or at least we assume you're that rich. You get a girl, unfortunately, this girl... She meets the guy, they do something, she comes up with a scheme. Yo, if I say he raped me, I could probably sue him for like five, ten million dollars. I'm rich forever. If I don't do that, I might never see this guy again. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm from Oklahoma. I'm never gonna get my hands on this type of guy. It's sad, but that is the truth. It's sad, but that happens every fucking day. I listen to the girl with Bill Cosby. I listen to one girl. She said she never used drugs in her life. She never smoked weed. She never smoked a cigarette. She never drank. He kept gassing her to drink the iced tea, the iced tea, the iced tea. She drank it in two seconds. She knew, oh, shit. I ain't never feel this shit in my life. She dragged herself out and thank God a yellow cab. Yo, bro. And I know a lot. I, I, I would say, if I give you my opinion, 50%. Oh, no, I might get in trouble for that one. But. Let's just say, because you got to be careful with everything you say now, right? Uh, let's just say some of, them, some of them women, and I'm not taking nothing away from them, you know, being legitimate claims, but some of them women were popping like, you, you know, now you go out to the club, everybody gets a Molly. Everybody gets a Molly Percocet. Everybody, you know, willingly, where's the pills at? I want to fuck. Where's the pills? That happens in 2021, let alone a guy like Bill Cosby who had the bag and was popping in the 70s and 80s. And I'm going 
I'm always careful. I know you would love to jam me up. Busy B, what's up? I'm always careful. Y'all got me all the way fucked up if you think I ain't careful. Shit. Jealous motherfuckers, bro. There's some jealous disease. It's a cancer. There's some people so fucking jealous of people. Instead of looking at people with inspiration. Yo, he made it. I can make it. What's really good? Yo, you know I was scared, right, Ted? Because you know every Friday I drink my wild cherry Pepsi. And right. so I went to the, I thought the supermarket in the Bahamas <laughs> wasn't going to have my wild cherry Pepsi. But I you found was nervous. something. I see you got yours back there. Yeah. No, I said I got to throw up the triangle. You know what I'm saying? The wild cherry. Come on, man. I see you found one can, so we good. Ted, listen. <laughs> Sweetie. Missy Moni Love. The trifecta ladies is their birthday. All Last of them? night we had a versus. Keith Sweat called me up, was talking major shit. <sighs> right after the verses, my brother Johnny Gill called me. He said, tell me how... What do you think? Why have, I said, listen, Johnny, I don't think you really want my opinion now. You know, <laughs> you know, boy, keep, keep handling his business legendary out there. Anthony Keith. Ramos, what's up, baby? Let's Slow go man. to it. Let's play some music for the people. What well, you want? You want to start with the, you want to get to the battle? Wanna you want to get to the birthdays? Go, wherever you want to go. Listen, man, we just going to run through this real quick. I'm going to say it like this. I had Keith by a little smidgy. I keep my little smidgy. See what I'm saying? Cause you was watching the wrong fight. I had there was there was shot. different levels. Fat Joe, happy birthday to Missy, sweetie, Moni Love. I ain't even gonna waste no time. I'm putting you right on the skillet. Who does Missy go against in a versus? She's unfair for a lot of, you know, you just proved it tonight. It's like, mm. it's like Missy will wash everybody, guys, yep. girls. I think Missy and Buster Rhymes should do the verses. That's what they talking about. It'll be the first female, man, because they both had the million dollar videos. They both very creative. You know, if you ask me as a curator, mm. who would be the best? Uh, versus for Missy, it would be Missy and Buster. That's, That's what I think. Yeah, no, for sure. And I'm going to tell you like this, it's probably going to be oh, 10. Who the hell was saying female? This ain't football or yeah. wrestling <laughs> or some shit. This is like, this is artists. This is musicians. This is entertainers. Yeah, no, for sure. I think, I I'll bet this, there's probably going to be at least 20 costume changes doing that versus. Because you know, you know Buster and Missy, you know the wardrobe, <laughs> the wardrobe bill going to be a million on each side <laughs> if that was to go down. Yo, I, you crazy. No, I like it. I like it. They, they could be like brother and sister, man. Shout out to Buss. Shout out to Missy, man. Look, Salute, man. I love man. the Brad. I love all the female rappers, but nobody's really going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Missy. Nobody. Not in that lane. I would be, I would, I would, I would see Missy and Buster would be the, the most legit versus incredible whatever like like little kim i could see little kim going up against Nicki minaj or right. Remy ma or something you know but missy missy need to go like because it's it's, it's, too, it's crazy no, no no i think she could do a versus just with the pen game like oh man she, Don't let her see, get you see what i'm saying pen. when she going to the pen game that's when it becomes Don't let her go to the pen. The pen she wrote hits for everybody. Monica. No, nah, no. Leah. Cole. Oh, nah, get yo, crazy. Crazy. What's the girl right now? Higgy, Higgy. Yeah, Tina. Tina Thompson. T -T yo, Thompson. Is a fucking classic. Nah, the, 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 I think that was her first recorded verse. I think that was, if you I'm know, not mistaken. Was. You know, I asked her. It was on a remix by Puff. You know, I had asked her. I said, yo, Missy, when you said, I like Joe, but he's sloppy. I said, was you talking about me? She said, no, Joe, I wasn't talking about you. But Metaphor. if you want to say I was talking about you, get ahead and say that. I said, nah, nah. Listen, that's not. She went metaphor, no false, sloppy Joe? No, yeah, no false, uh, no false clout around here. Nah, nah, you know nah, nah. 
Wow, Yo, Terry. Yo, Joe, right, man. Brother, God bless you. I hope to see you soon. But listen, let me tell you something. I thought about it today. I might do my birthday in my new house. Right? I mean, so I don't really, you know, as much, I don't really brag, but I, I've been building a home for the last year. Right? So I'm thinking about doing my birthday party in my new crib to enjoy it with my family and friends. Of course, you're going to be on the ones and twos. Yes, sir. But t just tonight, I realized, what if I rented a spot and did a party like I did and invited 20 of the most loyal fans of the Fat Joe show to come in there with us? Because I know me? who they are. I've been watching them for a year and a half. So Fact. I might change course because I was going to be like, yo, let me do something small in the new crib. You know, live a life, everybody enjoy, you know, whatever. But I'm thinking about just tonight I had epiphany. Because, you know, I'm not really trying to brag. I'll be trying to show y'all it's possible. Anything is possible. When I show people the water, I want them to feel like even if you're in a fucking milk crate in front of the store watching us a bodega, you here with me. You see the fly shit. You know it. It's possible. Right? It ain't about bragging. It ain't about nothing. It's inspiration. And so while I'm here, I'm just like, yo, you know what? I'm looking at all the day ones, all the 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 the, the, the Gordo 174, the Brooklyn. They in there right the now getting crazy. <laughs> they in there right the now. All the number one fans that have been watching this show. I said, man, what if we do it in the fly spot? We turn up and then we invite like 20 of the number one fans of the Fat Joe show to come rock out with us. We never yo, met these people before. Yo, the new hashtag on the timeline right now is since day one. Everybody like, yo, since day one, I've been here. And they claiming it right now. I mean, let's do it. I know who's been here. I know who's yeah. been with us every night. They in and here. we don't get caught up in numbers. Some nights, you know, little Uzi Burke was on here. We had 78,000 people at one time. Sometimes we on here, we got 500, 700,000 people. We don't care. You know what I say? We having a great time no matter what. You know what I say? Sometimes it's light, but it's right. Oh, yeah, it's right. You see what I'm Because our, our cult following, our community, they loving this shit. Because they Every know trip. we give them that real shit all the time. Every trip. All right, my brother. God you bless know. you, man. Stay Enjoy up, Enjoy your there. dinner. <laughs> Love. All right. You remember. You remember. <laughs> Yo, Ted, Ted snitched on me. Listen, man, sometimes when I come on just early, as, you know, y'all don't let me see basketball. Y'all don't, the responsibility of coming on live, this ain't a tape show. So live, I got to come on here. I miss dinner. I can't go to a fancy restaurant and eat some fly shit. So tonight I said, we going somewhere fly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and so let's just go a little early, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, rather than the 8 to 9. So, you know, I'm going to go enjoy some, some lobsters and shit. But listen, uh, be safe. God bless you. Um, even though I'm on vacation, I still like to share it with you. I, I, I'm telling you, and I, and, and I don't, and, and I, I don't want to lie to you. You know, I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this a long time. And so now all of a sudden that I get into this social media space, you know, I show y'all some shit that we be doing. And I never used to be like that before COVID or anything like that. But I say, you know what? Let my people enjoy. Let them, let, let them see what it is. Let them be inspired. You know what I'm saying? And, um... And so that's what it is. I think I was going to do the um my birthday because on my birthday, BD, what's up? Yeah, my nephew, BD. Listen, on my birthday, I get drunk, and New Year's Eve, I get drunk. Smash, right? So on my birthday, I said, you know what? New crib, built a new crib. Shout out to Nina. Shout out to my wife. Put in the shit looking... God bless is out of control. And, and 
I said, you know what? Let me throw a party in there, invite some of like 40, 50 of my closest friends, get some people to perform, some of my friends. You know, we just throw it in the new Palacio. And so, but tonight I realized you guys been rocking with me, man. And I said, you know what? I might have to just rent the spot so I could invite 20, 30 people from the show who just been real fans. Hopefully y'all can get there and uh, rock out with us. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what it's about for me. You know me, I want to just live a good life, a righteous life. None of us is perfect. And so that's why when I get, when I get, uh, when I get, uh, when I talk about real shit, people in trouble with the Lord and all that, I like to be very careful because I don't wish that on no one. And I don't never want to be in the world flips like this. We could be in trouble tomorrow. And so I don't want people, yo, remember Joe used to talk shit this? Nah. Nah. That's not that 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 you know what I'm saying? That's that's not what I'm on. You know, I'm not on that. I don't want nobody to go to jail. Nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Your big bank, what's up, baby? Big Bank ATL, what's good? It's my brother. He on the last album, man, talking that loyalty shit. He up there talking about, yo, check this out. If you rat it, you killed your whole legacy. If you snitch, you kill your whole legacy. Your kids are little mouses. Yeah, yeah, Big Bank, you talk that shit, though. But that's the rules we go by. Hey, yo, let your darkest moments bring your most clarity. If you went through some stuff and people turn their back on you, people you trusted, people you would have died for, did anything for, they are not your people. Believe in God, trust God no matter what, in good times and bad times. Whenever somebody gets sick, somebody go through something, we run to God. But remember him when he blesses you. Remember him when you need him least. Hey, God. And if you feel like you don't really need that much favor, then spread it to the people you know who do. Pray for other people. I sit down every night and pray for other people. All the time. I sit down. God, God bless such and such. His kids. God, such and such is sick. Please bless that lady. God, this, 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 he knows. He knows my heart is pure. He knows I sit down, not just for me. And let me tell you something, I ask God for everything. Big money. God, I want to be rich, so rich. Why, God? Because you know that if I, if a lot of us got rich, but don't really care about the... God, you know, if I get rich, like super wealthy, I'm going to give so much money back to the people who really need it. You know that, God. You created me. You know my heart. I had a Zoom with a lady yesterday. She said, she asked me the craziest question. She said, listen, I might be doing business with this lady. I hope so, because she's the big dog. She said, I asked like 20 people about Fat Joe that know you. And they all say, he's as real as they get, stand-up street guy. But he also got a good heart. So now, when the woman asks me, she says that to me. She says, now, me not knowing the streets, of, she's like, I don't really understand that. How could you be one of the toughest guys to ever walk the streets, but yet and still the same people say, you have the biggest heart? And I tell it, because it usually don't mix. You either a bad guy, because you, you're doing what you got to do to get it. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 oh, you're a good guy. So I said, listen, that's special. That's easy. 
I grew up, I was born the nicest kid in the world. If I were born in the suburbs or in a nice place, I would have been a doctor or a lawyer. No bullshit. When I was in the Bronx and I was in junior high and elementary, even though I was the biggest asshole, the worst behaved kid in the school, whenever they do the award shows, they would call me up there seven, eight times and the winner of this award, Joseph Cartagena, I was winning all that shit. Being an asshole, class clown. My heart's always been good. It's just my environment. You either predator or you prey. And I refuse to be a sucker. Does that make sense? Some guys are cool with being suckers. Some of your friends went to prison and never said a word. They, they snuck through work, got out of there. This, no, that's not Joe Crack. Joe Crack, the dawn. He was born to be the dawn. And so where I was from, there wasn't no guys like me doing that. And so I had to rise to the occasion. With all that being said, God is great, trust God. If you're going through a hard time, just know if it doesn't kill you, it's just a lesson. When you get through it, see the lesson in it. Because one day you're gonna need that wisdom from going through that. Peace, y'all. It's the biggest in the game. 16 one, 16 mil right now. OG say, yo, him can't chill no, sir. Guru G say, money haunted and suicide say, your poverty, him no, won't kill no, With no, the bandy no, grind from night till morning no, Ghost them a eat just to we start win no, Mineral we gone, choke off in, wash off the crosses till